Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a uh, demonstration of S-Health. S-Health is for the Galaxy S4, and it's a really good app for um, those of us that want to start, uh, you know, counting calories or losing weight or uh, keeping track of our exercise regimens. Um, so this does a couple of uh, different things, and we're going to go over... Um, couple of them right now so let's take a look at the app uh, first thing I do want to point out though is that S health although um, it can work without any accessories there are three accessories coming from Samsung uh, that will enhance um, these feet this app and we'll go over that in a bit so uh, first of all when you first get to the app you have your health board uh, this tells you how many calories you've burned today as well as your calorie intake and uh, your weight uh, you can actually uh, share this information right from here and uh, share it to any third-party app and even see statistically uh, where you're currently at for whichever uh, exercise you do most. So in terms of walking, in terms of um, any, any kind of input that you do, and you can actually see where your weight is each time as well. So um, that we'll go over in a little bit. Uh, and from here on the left side, you have a couple of other different settings. So let's go through Walking Mate first. So Walking Mate uh, keeps track of the steps you've taken throughout the day. Now, there is uh, the first accessory called S-Band that allow you to attach onto your wrist and it works through Bluetooth 4.0 to get a better reading for uh, the steps and it even gives your pulse. So it can really um, give you um, a more accurate person on how you know your pressure and everything's working in your body. Um, now, how this does it without the accessory is it does it through motion. So, say if I move this where I would normally be walking, uh, we just moved three steps. So, um, and that's how it essentially uh, figures out without the S band how many steps you've taken. Now, this of course isn't as accurate, but um, it does a good job um, normally. So on here you have your steps you've taken as well as a goal. Um, oops. And you can see you can slide. Uh, so today I've taken about 3,000 steps. Yesterday I took about 3,100. Monday was a busy walking day so I took more steps. And you can kind of see um, how many times um, your trend has been going. Uh, you can also see the uh, distance as well as the calories you've burned. If you ever want to pause it because you don't want to cheat or anything like that, it'll stop counting the steps right then and there. And then you can just start again as you please. Um, you can set goals, you can see your total steps, and you can entirely reset it. Um, so this is the goal that it uh, put for my way to maintain uh, kind of a healthy at uh, atmosphere. And you can always uh, set that to different. So if I thought that was too much, um, I can set it to say 9,000. Uh, steps instead or you know more realistically like 8,000 so we'll go for 8,000 so I have not uh, met my goal each day but that means I this is what I should be doing if I want to um, uh, drop down a bit in weight so um, you can see you know how many steps uh, you've taken throughout the day uh, some of my steps start around 12 on that day and uh, you can see they usually start around 12 actually and then um, just keep going so Sometimes they start, don't go for a while, and then there you are. So uh, just to give you kind of idea of how um, you can kind of see the graphs that uh, come out through all of this information. Um, next we have our Exercise Mate. So for Exercise Mate, um, it's uh, really nice because it caters towards uh, lots of different activities. And so how you enter on the Exercise Mate, you have zero calories right here, and all we do is hit enter. And then we uh, go through an activity that we did. Now you can select favorites. So these are some of my favorite things to do at times. Uh, so I select those. I can also go through more uh, different things that I like to do. So if I want to play football, if I want to, um, you know, anything uh, you like to do, some jump ropers back, you know, jump roping. Uh, so lots of stuff you can do with uh, this that I really does uh, well. So uh, let's say if we did uh, basketball. Okay, so if I play basketball today, I can put how much time I did it. 
So um, I can put one hour or I can put 30 minutes and that will change the calories that I burned depending again on my weight, height and everything else, which I'll show you where you can go and enter that in. So you can enter right here. You can also uh, do the time when you did it and then hit done. Now this will add to your calories that you burned for the day. So that's uh, a really good um, way to measure your calories. Um, the goal to burn is uh, 870 and this does uh, my full burning for the day. So, and that's kind of how you can base it off of um, how you uh, burn calories on the exercise made. So you want to always get 100% to your goal of how many calories you want to burn today. And uh, the third one is Food Tracker. So Food Tracker is uh, pretty nice uh, and what it does is it allows you to personalize breakfast, lunch, dinner, and other meals um, and input them at a daily basis. So say if we wanted to do first a couple of things, we can say it was, you know, dinner tonight and we can call it whatever we want. Uh, say if we had fast food, which you know we shouldn't if you're trying to lose weight, obviously. But let's go for, you know, typical um, what people typically eat. So um, you can take a photo of uh, it to kind of keep like a diary of um, what you've eaten or just kind of like tracking and see what you've been eating, uh, whether it be healthy or fattening. And then you can add the food information. So let's say if I had a Big Mac. Oops. So if I had a Big Mac, it would tell me that that was 550 calories, 100 calories just for the sauce, Jesus. Okay, let's say if I had a Big Mac, then I had 550 calories for dinner. And then I had done, and I had 550 calories so far for the day. I get to have uh, 2,641 left, but you know, that might have not been true. So what if I had also um, for, I don't know if I can add to that, yeah. So what if I also wanted to add that I had, you know, a large soda. Um, hmm. Uh, soda, diet soda, doesn't tell me the millimeters, but let's just go with soda. And then let's add uh, french fries. And you can always customize it if you want to label the food and the calories if you already know it. So I wanted to point that out as well. And potato french fries, a deep fried potato french fries. So you can kind of go and see. Um, and you can even put in the place, which I should have put McDonald's. Uh, those would be healthier, but let's just uh, let me see. Put McDonald's. Hmm. They don't have McDonald's french fries. Uh, let's just go for... What was it? I thought I saw like in and out or something like that. Uh, let's just go for those. Um, and then we can enter all of that information in. And then when we get done, as you can see, I had about half of my calorie intake in just one meal. So that would be a lot worse, of course. So, um, and that's how you determine your food tracker. Um, you can, of course, set goals too. So if you want to have less than that, you can. So say if I wanted to have uh, 2,000 instead. Um, recommended calorie intake 2,500 so let's set it at the recommended one per day for my weight as well as so you can see now that I I should only have a thousand four hundred left uh, for my intake that's recommended uh, so um, with that we go to the next one which is comfort level now comfort level kind of uh, just basically takes the value of your environment so if you're in a healthy environment and how it does this is right here through the top 
uh, there's a sensor right here on the S4, which allows you to, which allows it to measure temperature and humidity. So um, it's pretty cool that it can actually measure that. Uh, so it's pretty nice that you have that built in. And my temperature is good here at the studio. And then for the weight, so uh, you can see the weight, and you can always update that. So say if I had lost uh, five pounds, my son, or can I just type it in? Yeah. So say I've lost five pounds, then my new weight would be uh, 220. And I can see this difference in the scale. I'm going from 220, and then normally I was 225. So you kind of see um, how the scale has uh, changed now, and from yesterday to today. And um, how, how this would be much better, of course, is if you had um, the uh, scale that Samsung uh, has as, as, a, as an app. However, they do also add um, two uh, compatible um, scales uh, that are not Samsung branded, but they are compatible with this device. Let me zoom in so you guys can see that. So these are the two that are compatible with the S Health app. Um, if not, Samsung will have their own scale, um, I believe before the end of May or June, I don't know. But um, supposedly it's supposed to come out near the time of launch. So uh, really uh, nice uh, just because with the Samsung one, you'll tap it and update your um, scale. And then under settings, under settings you can do a couple of different things. So you can edit your profile, so you can put your height, date, all that kind of stuff. Your recommended uh, calories. So to maintain my current weight, so it figures out um, based on all of this information, including light activity, heavy activity, or moderate activity, um, that uh, you, this would be to maintain your weight. And if, of course, if you want to lose weight, you would want to go under that. And number of calories to uh, burn per day um, should be this. It's recommended to maintain your weight, 859. So if I wanted to, I'd probably say 1,000. Uh, would be at least a little bit better to uh, lose a little bit more weight, right? So, and you can change those as you see fit. Um, a lot of people might like this feature, security, so you can actually set a password, uh, basically a pin, so that um, no one can look at your S Health but you. Uh, unit settings, so you can change the different uh, unit settings if you uh, like to go instead of uh, pounds to kilograms, or instead of uh, inches to centimeters and temperature and, and all the rest. Um, you can also uh, change your quick calories. So mine was on walking. If I exercised more than walking, then I would choose that instead. And you can just reset your data. So um, depending on the accessories, you get like heart rate monitor and different accessories. You'll also get more levels such as I believe um, with the heart rate monitor, you can actually get sleeping. So to see how you're sleeping as well. So there's a lot of uh, different accessories that Samsung is releasing for this to uh, make it a better uh, use for a device. All right, guys, if you have any more questions on S-Health, feel free to ask. This has been R-A-C-K-Y, the Android guy.